What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Um, we just uh, showed these, uh, this, this, this a long uh, chunk of video from this focus group we did. I know you heard a little bit about that. Uh, there's all on the Democratic side. Um, as a political strategist, as a Republican, looking at that focus group, what do you take away from it? I thought it was interesting. There is a great grasp of process and personality, but no substance. The only substance raised, only issues raised, were uh, Benghazi and email, and then the character issue of trust. So they all love her and they think she's great, but compared to what? In the land of the blind, she's the one I joined. That's like, we're just talking about our daughter. I always say to my first daughter, you're my favorite first daughter. <laughs> she's compared to what? So without anything to run against, we're going to have another campaign of personality here. And this is a campaign that's going to be a cycle of process, not process, but of policies. Strong candidates, strong Republican candidates would say, what's mine is mine and what's yours we negotiate over. Where is she vulnerable for a Republican trying to win over Democratic votes? What issues is she vulnerable on to try to poach some Democratic votes if you're a Republican nominee? Well, she's the smartest woman in the world, but n nobody in that focus group, and those were clearly political junkies, could name a smart thing that she'd done. Not one single accomplishment. I will say again, why the Republican field is so strong this year and it is because it's running on policy and philosophy, which have been has been absent in the last several cycles. We haven't run on anything. And I love that she's running left because the Republican Party's problem has been, they've been going in tandem with the Democrats. So the Democrats have been moving left and we've been moving left. So now we will have a very stark contrast. So where can she lose Democrats? As she moves left because those policies, if you look at support or more precisely, uh, objection to the policies in the Obama era, the numbers are against the policies, and the policies are affecting their life. We just have to stay on policy. But you, have, but you have a bunch of Democrats here who, as you just said, Mary, can't name any of her accomplishments at the State Department, um, think that she might become embroiled in another scandal, and yet they almost, to a person, would say, um, I'm for her, not just because she's smarter, because I love her, but because we must stop any Republican from becoming president of the United States. So what is a Republican in that circumstance where there's so many Democrats whose attitude is, I'll vote for anybody that will stop Scott Walker, Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz from becoming president? What does a Republican have to there, do to allay those fears? There's not enough of them. What Republicans have to do is what they've failed to do for the past several cycles, which is say, which is to employ that exact strategy. The strategy for victory was predicated on people voting against the opponent. That's a very weak, specious strategy. So what they had to do is, in the case of the governors who have records, speak to them, as in Walker's case, Jeb's case. In the, in the case of having a deep constitutional foundation, Cruz or Rand, or that, they have to speak to that. They have been speaking to it. And frankly, they have to not answer the kinds of questions that typically come up in a political arena, but say what they have to say. And so far, they've been good. So we have to just be who we are, which we haven't been. And if she just is what she's been. She, she will get what she's got and no more. Jeb Bush was up in New Hampshire today still talking about his family, his father and his brother, both of whom you know well. Clearly still a lot of concern in Bush world about how he deals with the family issue. What are the elements of effectively dealing with it? I have to say I'm surprised that the dynasty issue is as deep as it is. I think it has as much to do with the frustration of Republicans not being running as conservatives, not giving a clarion call for free markets and everything else that we stand for. But the only thing, the best thing for Jeb to do is the only thing he can do which is to keep being out there. They think they know Jeb. The, the larger electorate doesn't know Jeb any more than they knew W. Jeb is different from George W. George W. is very different from H.W. We know them all, worked for all of them. And they're completely different people with different records, different temperaments, different philosophies. There's not, there's not a single person, Republican or Democrat, who thinks that Jeb handled the Iraq question last week well. It took him a number of different times. He changed his position throughout the course of the week. Forgetting about the substance of it, like where he should, how he should have answered, how can it be that he, it took him that long to come down where he came down? What, what is the nature of the trouble he has answering that question? It's, it's, it is curious. You're right. I, I, the party in general is in a transition from robust 
international intervention in perpetuity and what we used to be, which what is our strategic interest. And I think this goes to the, his response goes to the former question. There's too much, too much emotional uh, internalization of the Bush question, and there's loyalty in the family and all the rest of it. 